Alright folks, here's another update for upgrades I'm adding to this um, printer. This just finally finished. These are the little turn knobs here that I'm going to use. And I think I can get them to clear up. It's yellow and there's flash on, so trying to get these to adjust. Yeah, there's numbers corresponding. Yeah, you can see that one. There's numbers corresponding up to about five on each of these. So I'm thinking that I have to line these up in the exact positions for it to work. But these turn knobs are going to replace these turn knobs. They're printed 100% infill out of PLA. Also, the other upgrades that I've printed out are these here extension pieces which will require M3 screws different to the ones here that will extend this this raised area a bit higher to get a, probably the maximum length for the I'm going to say the Z axis yeah the Z axis going up since pretty much most of my prints stop off here these pieces here have been printed 100% as well and will have will raise this a bit higher so about there I'm gonna say about five or five or so inches higher the other one is just flat this one is like a hook for my tools and stuff so that's where I will be putting my scraper and the last updated pieces that I'm putting in since I don't feel like cutting three separate videos for these small parts are these belt tighteners that are going to be placed. One is going to be placed here behind the um, extrusion motor and stuff. The other one's going to be placed underneath. And this piece as well, I forget where it goes at the time of this recording, but I will figure it out. In fact, it should be listed in the print file itself. All of these parts are on Thingiverse, and I will post the links to those in the description below. And the next time you see another update video, hopefully these pieces are added on because I have to order a little box of M3 screws that come in various sizes or I just order the ones in particular sizes or find them at stores. But yeah, let's scrape these off real quick. I cleaned the build plate again. You should do it every so often. Don't do like I did and have it like have it like piled up for like months I'm getting out of that habit now because it was like thick layers of glue that I got off with like a scotch bright and a little heat from the pad itself but now it's still relatively smooth minus the first layer of glue that I put on there but pretty good pretty decent these are knuckle printed so that's good so all of these will be in the second wave of upgrades that I do to this printer. Anything else that I add or consider doing, I'll post in the next video. Also, I'm going to replace this here because this is just a um, just a filament guide. It's not really connected to the printer. And I'm going to move this because from some tutorials that I've seen, Having this up here rocks the printer with the weight of the filament spool. So this will be moved down to here. And there are two corresponding holes that came with the um, printer. So that'll be screwed down there. So I'm going to find the printer filament guide that I can just loop from there to here and then down there. So it'll pretty much run that way. Problem. I know there's a few on there that I can run up the side and through here. I'll look them up. They're probably on Thingiverse as well. If you have any suggestions for that, leave it in the description below. But these are all the pieces that I've printed out over a while. All of them have been printed 100% infill. I might print this again because this one has support material on the inside. I need to dig out. But more than likely, I'll have that dug out and then this will slip in where it's supposed to go next. So thank you for watching this, and this is another print upgrade for the Maker Select V2.
also we're moving a lot of stuff around so there's pieces here and there that are just in the way but not obstructing obstructing the printing process <laughs> 